It's time for the X and Y show with your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah. Sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. And greetings, 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 and uh, greetings. Welcome to another segment of the X and Y Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. And um, I'm so glad to be back to you folks. The X and Y Show has made a little change, a little modification in programming. Um, Right now, uh, the format is a bi-weekly format instead of weekly. Um, It's just that way, you know, temporarily, while some things is going on right now. Um, but um, hopefully in the future I will go back to a weekly format and uh, maybe even more, maybe uh, every other day. Who knows? But uh, for right now, the X and Y show is a bi-weekly show. But you can always listen to archived episodes uh, for the ones that you missed. And um, that will give you more time to interact with me as well on past episodes and give your in input and opinions or constructive criticism or whatever you want to say and um you know we can interact that way so you know don't look at it as a negative thing it's a positive thing um the important thing is, is i'm still here with ya i'm not going anywhere so um with that being said we about to get on the hootie up in here and let's get into tonight's episode. Now, a few weeks ago, if you um, listened to the X Y show, or you haven't, I have an episode of Why Do Women uh, Think That All Men Are Handymen? Uh, basically, you know, all women believe or want to believe that all men can fix all kind of shit, you know, in the house. Or should be able to fix all kind of shit, plumbing, electricity, uh, all kind of shit. They all they believe that men should be able to. And I did a little show on it, um, basically saying that that's bullshit, and uh, women need to stop that shit uh, because it's not fair. And I got a lot of little flack from it, um, you know, um, from men and uh, from women and some. Uh, men as well, um, saying that uh, the same reasons, men, you know, women think all men should be handymen, the same reason that men think all women are cooks. So they asked me to basically, you know, you know, when they came back with that feedback, I felt that I should do a show on that as well. You know, I'm not trying to point out to a particular sex, you know, the X and Y, you know, the X, Y chromosome, that's both. So you know, um, this show deals with both sides. It doesn't have any bias towards one. I know some of you think that sometimes, but it doesn't. I try to be fair, just. And if you don't think I am, uh, oh well. <laughs> but uh, so with that being said, I'm going to get into tonight's episode. This is for the ladies, I guess. Um, why do men? Expect all women to be expert cooks. Again, why do men expect all women to be expert cooks? Now, I don't expect me personally. Before I, you know, get deep, 
I don't, me personally, I don't expect all women to be expert cooks. I don't. Um, because I'm real. I'm realistic. You know, um, I realized a long time ago that these women, that women of today are just not um, as talented in the kitchen as my mother is and my grandmothers were. Um, it's a different breed, you know. They are not, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like comparing, um, it's like comparing a damn Lamborghini to a Mustang. You know, Mustang is a good car, but, you know, it's not a Lamborghini, you know. Um, so, I, you know, I, I've learned a long time ago, you can't do that, you know. Because um, women of the day have always just come up short. So it's not fair that all men or most men think that women should be expert cooks or at least know how to cook. Um, it's not fair um, because that's just not the case. And I realized that, you know, I really, to be honest with you, when I do find a wife, I don't even expect her to know how to cook. <laughs> Fuck it. That's just, you know, if she know how to cook, that's a bonus, <laughs> you know. But, I, I mean, if, you know, guys, if you, you're looking for a woman that can cook, that shit is like, you know, finding gold in the damn San Francisco today. You, you, you're going to be looking forever. You know, I mean, you just you can't use that as a criteria when you're looking for a wife. So it's not fair. It's not fair to judge women in that way because most women can't damn cook. They don't know how to cook. And the ones that do are lazy as hell and don't want to cook. Some use it as a tool of bartering. You know, I didn't get this. I'm mad at you. I'm not cooking shit. You know, so, you know, it's all kind of things that men have to go through just to get a damn meal. That's the bottom line. Just get a damn meal. We asking for a damn full course dinner at the Rich Carlton. Just damn, cook some spaghetti with some nice garlic bread or some nice oxtails with some collard greens. Or, you know, just something simple. It don't have to be a damn full course meal. But some of you can't even do that. Some of you can't even do that. Some of you won't do that. And that's a sad thing. The ones that can, but won't. So, you know, it's very unfair. I feel personally that most women can't cook because they're not being taught. Most women can't cook. It's just not a thing anymore. It's not important anymore. You know, women are with that independent shit, you know, and they, they you know, they've been liberated we don't have to cook anymore. We don't have to clean anymore. We're not domestic slaves and all that bullshit. You know, and don't get me wrong. I'm not a male chauvinist. I'm not. A lot of you think, oh, really? oh my God, he thinks women are supposed to be cooking and in the bedroom pregnant. No, I don't think women should be cooking and just doing things in the bedroom or walking around uh, pregnant. Not unless they naked. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. I don't. I don't believe. That. I'm not a male chauvinist. I don't think that women should be domestic slaves. But I do believe that the art of cooking is the job of a woman. I, I said it. Shit. You know that a lot of men don't want to say that because they don't want to be mistaken as a male chauvinist. I'm not a male chauvinist. But if you think I am, I, fuck it. You can think what you want to think. But I'm not a male chauvinist. I'm just saying that to be able to cook, the art of cooking, that that's that's a dude of a woman. That's a dude of a woman. Just like cutting the yard, you know, and painting the house, that's a dude of a man. Now sometimes the wives help out. Yeah. That's cool. You know, wife wanna help out cutting the yard or, or you know, paint having them paint. That's cool. Just like sometimes the man, 
You see, I'm not a male chauvinist. The man should step up and help out the woman in the kitchen. It should not be 100% on the woman. Fellas, you have to help out as well. Don't just let your wife or girlfriend cook all the damn time. Surprise her every other day, maybe three days, whatever. That's between you two. You got to help her out. But she is the primary. And a lot of women have forgotten that. But I'm about to remind y'all ass tonight again. So listen up. Now, like I said, to think that every woman can cook is very unfair. Because to be honest with you, most uh, women uh, can't cook. And the ones that do cook can't cook worth a damn. Um, you know, so, or like I said before, most women who know how to cook refuse to do it because they're mad or they didn't get something that they wanted, you know. So, you know, just to get a meal is a big deal. <laughs> just to get a meal is a big deal. You know, it's like uh, so much trouble to go through just to get a hot meal. And it shouldn't be that way, you know. Simple thing is cooking a meal shouldn't be that way. Like I said, it don't have to be a full course meal at the damn Ramada Inn or nothing like that. Just something simple. Just something simple. You're supposed to cook for your man. You're supposed to cook for your family. If you don't know how to cook, learn. You know, like I said before, it's a rare art. It's a rare art. When you do find a woman that can cook, that can really cook and is willing to cook, one who has not forgotten her duties, that's that's like finding a damn unicorn. You know, that's like finding a damn albino bull constrictor. <laughs> that's like finding an albino tiger. That, that shit is rare. When you find a woman that can actually cook and who's willing to cook for her man or family, that shit is rare. Extremely rare. So, no. Ladies, me personally, I don't expect you to be an expert cook. I really don't expect you to know how to cook. My, my bar is set very low in that area. I don't expect that from you because I just I'm just real. I'm just realistic. Most of you can't cook. Most of you don't want to cook. It's always something. So I don't expect a woman to learn how to cook. I, you know, me personally, I don't expect a woman to know how to cook. But most guys do. Most guys expect their woman uh, to know their way around the kitchen. They do. You know, and a lot of guys spend a long time looking for that woman. And comparing them to their mothers and comparing them to their grandmothers. It's just not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So guys, stop doing that shit. Stop expecting all women to be expert cooks. Stop expecting all women to be, to cook like your mother did. Stop expecting women to cook like your grandmother did. Or your aunts, you know. That shit is, is, is very unlikely. Like you're looking for the Holy Grail or some shit. It's not, it's not common. So don't look for it and don't expect all women to be that. It's not fair to them. Now, I'm going to give you the root cause of why this is going on. You know, a lot of women are basically clueless when it comes to a kitchen. You know. It's basically a very poor, sorry ass cycle. You know, to put it simple, girls are not being taught how to cook anymore. Little girls are not being taught how to cook anymore. You know, when I was little, um, you know, my mom and my aunts taught their daughters how to cook. They passed it on. And I remember reading a book by Booker T. Washington. Um, I think it was, uh, this is when I was a 
call it, so it was a long time ago, but, uh, oh, shit, what was the name of that book? Anyway, he was basically saying that he was afraid when, you know, when the slaves were free, that they would lose, you know, when they got their education, that they would lose their domestic talents, you know, agriculture, uh, being able to farm, uh, being able to cook and sow, you know, etc. So, you know, he was basically afraid that they would lose that trait over time. And, you know, that book was written back in the 1800s when, you know, Booker T was around. But that he, he was he hit it right on the nail. That's exactly what has happened. You know, women are not being taught anymore how to cook. They're not. It's a dying art. It's a dying trade. You know, they're not being taught. It's a sorry ass cycle. Girls are not being taught by their moms how to cook because the new age mothers are not teaching them how to cook. Hell, yeah, most of them can't because they don't know how. They don't know how. You got to go back two generations for the final, sometimes three, to find a woman that actually knew how to cook. These new age mothers, they don't know how to damn cook, so they can't teach their daughters. They don't know how to cook. How are they going to teach their little girls how to cook? So what happens? The little girl grows up to be a woman. And when they non-cooking ass have daughters, then they don't know how to cook, so they're not teaching their daughters how to cook. Yeah. So the cycle continues. On and on and on. And that's basically why a lot of women walking around today that can't cook. It's a cycle. It's a art that's not being taught anymore. You know. And it's sad. Women have forgotten their duties. They've forgotten their duties. You're supposed to cook for a man. Your man. You're supposed to cook for your family. Now, y'all, you supposed to do it all the time? No. Like I said before, fellas, you got to help out. Don't, don't wear her ass out. You see, cooking every damn day. No. I'm not saying that. Guys have to help out as well. But the primary is the woman. You damn right. That's what I said it. A lot of you need to hear this. If you don't know how to cook, you listen to sign my voice, then take your ass and learn how to cook. Take a cooking lesson. Watch YouTube or something. Learn how to do something in the kitchen. Lazy ass. Now I'll tell you. Another reason for this is just like Booker T said, Booker T felt that once the Negroes, as they called them back then, started going to school and started going to college and learning how to be professionals, you know, teachers and stuff like that, uh, mainly back then, that they would forget the domesticated duties, you know, cooking, sewing, etc. And that's basically, that, that shit, that, he hit it right on the nail. A lot of women refuse to cook in today's world because they have a few degrees or they have a few letters behind their name. You know, they're too professional to cook. You know. I'm, a, I'm an architect. I'm, I'm not cooking a meal. No. <laughs> I ain't cooking nothing. I, I, I ain't cooking nothing. I went to school, so I don't have to cook. I ain't cooking. You better go. You better get you. You better go somewhere and get you something to eat. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh my God! I never cook. I mean, I, I listen to women all the time at work, everywhere I work. I listen to them. I listen to you women. You know, basically saying that you never cook. You don't know how to cook. You guys always eat out. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Women, just because you have a few degrees, just because you got a few letters behind your name, whether it's MBA or whether it's ESQ period or whether it's MD, 
your ass, you still know your way around the kitchen. That's the woman's duty, to know her way around the kitchen. Should she be the sole person? Again, no, I don't believe that. Man, she help out there once in a while. You know, maybe two days, three days, depending on the couple. That's between them. But she should not hold the brunt of it. You know, all of the damn cooking duties, but she's the primary. I'm, 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 I'm continuing to stress that. She is the primary. So, ladies, I don't give a damn if you're an architect. I don't give a damn if you're an attorney. I don't give a damn if you're a doctor. All women should realize that it's your duty to cook for your man and your family. Whether you're a doctor or you're cleaning the doctor's office, it don't matter. It don't matter where you are on the spectrum. You know, whether you have a white collar or a blue collar. Your ass should know your way around the kitchen. It's a woman's duty to know her way around the kitchen. That's right. I said it. And like I said, again, I'm not a male chauvinist. I don't think a woman, I don't believe that women should have 100% of the cooking duties. No, I don't believe that. Men should help. Men should help. Man, if you can't cook, then clean the bathroom. You know, clean the clean the house, clean the apartment, do something. Don't just lay around on your ass. Help her out. So you see, ladies, I'm not a male show. I'm not a sexist. You know, I don't think men should be excluded from domesticated duties. Help your woman out. I believe that. But a woman's duty is to provide for her man. And for her family in the kitchen. That's her duty. That's a woman's duty. Where have we forgotten this? When did we lose this? It's like a norm almost now. You know, when you get a woman now, you don't, at least I don't, I don't expect her to cook. I don't think she know how to cook. Unless she proved me wrong. I told you my bar is very low. I I don't expect women to know how to cook, and damn sure don't cook as good as my mother. Oh hell no, I'll never get married. <laughs> Shit, you know. Or my aunt, you know. I'll never get married if I compare women of the day to them, because they just won't measure up. They, most of them, most of them, most of them. Like I said, it's possible to find some. But that's like looking for a damn unicorn. That's, you know, that white tiger and shit. Very rare. Very rare. You know. Like I said again, women should know their way around the kitchen. They are the primary, but men should help out. So, ladies, you are the executive chef. Man is a sous chef or a fry cook, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. You know, they step in from time to time to help out. But women is the executive chef. You know, that's their duty. Man is secondary. Man, if you can't cook, do something else. Go clean the damn house. Go clean the bathroom. You know, give your lady a bath. Do something. Don't just lay on your ass. Do something. Help her out. It's a team. That's what a relationship is. Or marriage is. It's a team effort. No duty should fall on just one person. It's a team effort. So the men should help their women out. But men, remember, women are the primary, you the secondary. Women should know their way around the kitchen. They should. It's their duty. Now, some women don't know how to cook. They ain't trying to learn how to cook. Some women 
cookbook, which is worse. Some women know how to cook and refuse to. Some women are just lazy as hell. You know, they know how to cook and, you know, they just don't, they, they ain't gonna cook. You know? They don't feel like cooking. It's lazy. A lot of lazy ass women now today. You know, lazy ass women. A lot of women call men lazy, some lazy ass women out there too. You know. And that's even worse to me a woman that actually knows the art and won't use it, won't share it. That's that's the that's even worse. That's selfish. That's selfish is what it is. Women that know how to cook will refuse to do it. And then you have, of course, the women that have uh, anger issues and use cooking as a get back tool. You know, they're angry. They didn't get their way in something. They didn't get something that they wanted, so they don't cook. But fuck you, dude. I'm not cooking shit. You know, how many times have you heard that, guys? You better take your ass in there and cook yourself. I ain't cooking a damn thing. I'm going to bed. <laughs> how many times have you heard that? I ain't cooking nothing. Fuck you. Use that as a get back tool. You know, can cook and refuse to cook because they're trying to get even. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Women should not use the art of cooking as a get back tool. Don't do that. That's not right, ladies. Damn. And even if you do do it, do it one night. Don't do it for a damn month. <laughs> Some of you <laughs> take a leave of absence from the damn kitchen. Don't get so mad. Shouldn't be used as a bartering tool. Shouldn't be used as a get back tool. If you know how to cook, if you know the art, then cook for your man. Cook for your family. That is your duty. That is a woman's duty. I don't get, you know, all, you know, all this women's lib and, you know, all this equal rights and, you know, all this other shit. You know, a lot of women that's listening to this podcast right now say, oh, my God, what's wrong with him? I I feel sorry for the lady that married him. Oh, my God. If you think that, then you're not listening to me. Like I said before. I don't believe that 100% of the cooking duties should fall on a woman. I do not believe that. No. A man should help his woman out. If he can't cook, then cook and clean up the bathroom. You know, clean up the house some kind of way. Clean up the apartment. Vacuum. Do something. I don't think men should be excluded from domestic duties. You got to help your woman out. It's a team. A relationship is a team effort. A marriage is a team effort. You gotta help her out. Sometimes she might can't cook. She's so damn tired when she come in, and you not as tired. Then take your ass in the kitchen and throw something together. Nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is the primary duties for you slow motherfuckers. The primary cooking duties should fall on the woman. That is her duty. That is her job to cook for her man, whether it be a boyfriend or whether it be her husband and definitely her kids. That's her duty to provide a meal for her family. That's a woman's duty. It's okay to have women's rights. It's okay to have to be equality, to have equality when it comes to the sexes. You know, I got no problem with that. But a woman must always remember that her duty is to provide a hot meal for her family, for her man, you know, for her boyfriend or for her husband. A woman's duty is to cook. 
That's it. It's not, it's not rocket science. That's her job. That's her duty to do that. That's a woman's job. That's a woman's job. Now, of course, there's also other parameters. Now, if the man is not working, you know, at the moment, and the woman is the breadwinner, of course, okay, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule. She shouldn't be cooking at all. His ass should be cooking every day. She, you know, she's she's the breadwinner. You know, he's not working. He should have a meal when she come home. It's always exceptions. And like I said before, you know, I don't believe that 100% of the cooking duties should fall on a woman. Now, there's some lazy ass dudes out there that don't work and want their lady to come home and still cook when they don't lay it on the ass all day. And that, you know, that's the case. Then now that's a problem. You know, if you with a guy like that and you're in a relationship, you need to get rid of his ass right now. <laughs> it's not going to get no better. <laughs> now, if you're married, you know, go to counseling. That shit is a damn Titanic. It's, that's a sinking ship. As soon as you, it's, it's going to come to a boil and you're going to get frustrated. And, you know, it's going to sink. So if this shit happened to you right now, you should go to counseling if you're in marriage. If you're in a relationship, break, it, break that shit up right now. I'm telling you, it's not going to get better. But there's always exceptions to the rule. The man is not working. The lady is the breadwinner. Yeah, the man cook every day. Shit. Have a meal when your woman walks to the door. But if both parties are working, that's a woman's duty. Is it her duty to do it every day? No. But she is the executive chef. She's the primary chef. The man can be the sous chef or the fry cook, or whatever, but he's secondary. The woman is primary. We should not lose the art to learn how to cook. Ladies, if you don't know how to cook, learn how to cook. Don't be lazy. When you have daughters, you can teach them how to cook. And they can teach their daughters and so forth. So we can put an end to this cycle of women not knowing shit when it comes to the kitchen. So, why do men expect all women to be expert cooks? I don't know. The only thing I can think of is, you know, they think of their mothers, so they figure every woman know how to cook. And that's just not the case. Most men should realize that. I have, long time ago. I don't expect that. I don't even look at it. I don't put that as a criteria when I'm looking for a woman. Know how to cook. What? <laughs> no. That's irrelevant. Now, it'd be nice to find one. I mean, of course. That's like a bonus. But is it a requirement like a criteria? No. I'd be looking forever. Shit ain't going to happen. Especially when I can cook good as my mother. <laughs> huh? I never found one. So my bar is really low when it comes to that. So anyway, so ladies, that's why women think that all, excuse me, men think that all women are expert cooks. They're basing it on the way their mothers cook for them when they were little. They, their mothers can cook, so they think all women can cook. They don't know that that's not the case. They don't know or realize that your ass can't cook. They haven't come to that realization yet that you can't cook like their mothers or grandmothers or aunts. They come in expecting you to know. They don't realize it's just not the case. And it's very unfair. It is. It is. But it's also unfair for women to forget their duties, to forget what they're supposed to do for their family and for their man, aka their boyfriend and their husband. 
it's also unfair for women to forget what they are supposed to do. Anyway, sure, I pissed a lot of women off tonight, but you know, I don't give a damn. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed tonight's show of the X and Y show. And uh, tune in in two weeks. I will be back. Now, be sure to check out the X and Y show. Um, I'm also available on different outlets. I'm on Blueberry. I'm on iTunes, I'm on TuneIn, I'm on Google Play, um, and I'm on Stitcher as well. And be sure to follow me and subscribe to all of those, um, whichever one that you use, your favorite outlet, and um, I would really much appreciate it. Also, um, I'm on Spreaker, that's my main platform, which I broadcast from, and you can see all of my archived episodes on there as well. Um, I'm also on social media, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, so be sure to follow me on those as well to keep abreast on what is coming down the pipe in regards to the XY show. Like you find everything on my website, my social media, as well as my listening outlets, you can find everything on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com www.thexyshow.com You also see uh, my store where you can shop and get various di different types of items such as t-shirts um, I have uh, iPhone covers, I have Android covers coffee mugs and uh, also some stuff coming out of the pipe as well so be sure to check out the X and Y store uh, buy something from there and uh, send me a picture and I'll show everyone that you are a true X and Wire. Also, there's a contact form on my website as well. Uh, be sure to say hello to me or give me any constructive criticisms, what you didn't like about the show, what you loved about the show, uh, what, what kind of show you would like to hear next, whatever. Just talk to me. That's on the contact form, so be sure to reach out to me as well. So, and that's about it. I will see you not next week, but the week after with a new show. And I want you to always remember, you cannot have love without X and Y. <laughs> Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.